In uh, five, four, three, two, one, bitches, bitches, is episode five, five, fifty-five. Uh, or as, fresh uh, talks. Or as Crit Max says, fifty-fifth Street. Did he? Does he really? He really says fifty-fifth Street all the time. He, oh, oh, <laughs> so I'm old. Five, five, fifty-fifth Street. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> there you go. I'm like, I'm trying to remember who who Crit Mac was. Crit Mac. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is like, yo, I don't want no beef if he ever hears this, right? I don't want to get shot. I'm not. I'm, I'm, hey, Crit Mac, I ain't saying nothing, bro. All right. I'm wearing blue today for you. No, we're, we're not affiliated. No, nothing. But when he first started, I thought it was um a facade. Oh, mm-hmm. Like, it's like his his alter ego to, yeah, to something. be. Like, you know, yeah, but no, yeah, that's yeah. how he really no, is. No, that's how someone. he really is. Uh, I remember there was a, a video I was watching, right, of him. And. He was giving food to the homeless, like the leftovers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the way he said community was the way Marshawn uh, Marshawn Lynch said it when he was on um, on the community. field. Community. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so when he said community, I'm like, oh, that's Lynch right there. Facts. That's Lynch. Oh, shit. Restore my community. Facts. I was like, oh, well, episode fifty five, fresh talks. I'm your host, Fresh. Billy. With Sneakers Ab God, Nesto. First off, thank you to uh, the boy Ness Ness for giving me a uh, Tropicana Facts. OJ juice. Little OJ with some hash bram. Boy, where's my pulp? Yo, I asked for OJ, bro. <laughs> Whatever they gave me, they gave me, bro. <laughs> you you, you a pulp drinker? I don't mind it. I want some, not... Like heavy, right? Heavy, yeah. Heavy is just too much. Some is okay, but you know, I don't, I don't complain too much. Fun fact. I don't know if it's true or not. Oh, that's some good OJ. Um, when I was a kid, I was told to never drink orange juice after you brush your teeth. Yeah, because that shit is going to be disgusting. And it, some people it upsets their stomach. Mm-hmm. He also got me some hashies. So we're going to be eating, so suck a dick. We hungry, we human. Well, it's breakfast time for us. Facts, super breakfast. It's 9.09. Um... Today's gonna be a fun day for us because um it's fan fest today. After we record, right? Um oh, let's move that out the way so it doesn't get too close to the, the reading. Um what's gonna happen is we go to fan fest, which is the Xfinity. So by the time y'all hear this, the day is already over. We're gonna be lit. No, you guys are gonna be like, I gotta work after this. Bitch. Hey man. I that's what it's bitch. Look. Wifey, wifey is going to school. Two jobs, YOLO. That sounds like a wife problem, not a you problem. <laughs> Ooh, you learning? Pound it. You learning? You learning? Um, but yeah, man. Uh, also, shout outs to uh, Kobe Bryant. Shout his out birthday. to Bean. It was his birthday on the twenty third. Twenty third. It's crazy how his birthday is it's the day cool. before his day. I know, which is it's wild. Very, it's very crazy. Very, very wild, bro. You know what I mean? He Eight and twenty-four. You would have been uh, forty-five. Really? Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. to, to R. the P. goat. R.I.P. to the goat. Man, when uh, when he passed away, I, I teared up. Yeah, I did too, bro. I where the hell was people I? who didn't watch basketball teared up? Facts, because I mean Kobe's such a, like a big name. Regardless, like if you didn't watch basketball, you knew who you he was. knew who he was. Regardless, it's like him, mm-hmm. MJ. Of course, I will MJ, give him. MJ, yeah. Uh, LeBron's Lebron same is up there. Curry is coming up now. AI, AI, and Curry, he's there, mm-hmm. but he's so clean cut. It's it's be, it's like he doesn't have no controversy around him. LeBron does. Kobe, yeah, yeah, does, Kobe does. MJ AI, does. AI, AI does. Um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but Curry's so clean cut. One thing, like, I would say this, though. When uh, a couple years back, right, my homies, uh, shout out to Lou and Rick, we had an argument about this. Mm. I chose Kyrie over Curry at that time. Mm. Now, no. Mm -hmm. At that time, I did because you know why? This is when he, uh, right before he lost to uh, Toronto. Oh, yeah. I was like, look, he has nobody to support. Mm Mm-hmm. It's literally just him. Him, yeah. Clay's out. 
Dre is out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and he, he saw it the whole season. He he dragged he dragged it, but he couldn't, he couldn't, couldn't do much. He couldn't do much, yeah. That's why he lost. And then the next year, it was just terrible. Mm-hmm. And now they win the ring. So it's like, all right, I take I, I I take my words back. Curry Curry is a bad boy. Curry he makes these ma- these kids fucking do circuit three circus. That's shot what threes. I was saying, bro. He changed that part of the game because, like, every time I see a video, like on Instagram on TikTok, mm. motherfuckers are shooting threes from like forty feet from the fucking Man, basket, bro. When you shoot something, what do you say? Kobe. Exactly. No one says Curry. Unless Not you're yet. unless you're Indian. Not yet. Unless wow. you're Indian. <laughs> Stir the pot. <laughs> we haven't done a little racial little, little racial joke in a while. Stir the pot. You want red or uh, yellow? Yellow. Wow. He's yellow. My my wife loves curry actually. Does she? She loves eating curry. I though. had it a few times. I can't it's not that before. bad. It's I not. Actually, it's not bad. I just. It's not that bad. I can't remember where I had it though. Um, but talk about rings since we talk about curry. You know, my uh, Jordan's gonna get a seventh ring. From what? His son. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you saw on my nose. I saw, I saw like so, a ring. I'm like, bro, oh, this- what? Again, stir the pot. Stir the pot. No, man, that's 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 a whole family feud thing. I don't know what's going on. You marrying a woman that's like thirty plus. I don't know how old she is, but probably thirty plus from his son. So I, I can see that. I'm just like, bruh. That's like that's 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 your dad's supposedly best friend. Like, hey, I don't know, bro. <laughs> bro, it's like think about. It. Imagine this, bro. I like you and me. Let's say we're fifty years old. And like I marry your ex-wife, how would you feel? Like, bro, that's there's no sign of respect. Keeper. <laughs> nah, there ain't no keeper, bro. The fuck? Stir the pie. <laughs> nah, that's I was like, that's weird. Yeah, it's weird, but I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know how. How would you up. react? That's fucking weird, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's like something little... you like you you might forgive it, but you will never forget it. You get yeah, what I'm saying? I I have low key kind of a story like that. But I'll tell you after the pod, uh, this shit is funny, though. No. Hey, you know this individual. Oh, shit. Yeah, stir the pot. Uh, so, like, so, so just a little update before we talk about any type of sneaker news and shit. So, recently, remember that video I showed you of that kid uh, that bought the Chrome, uh, Chrome Heart hoodie? He thought it was, like, 17 bucks, and it was really uh, 1.7K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I post, I commented, and it blew up. Like, mm. motherfuckers were, like, on my ass on it, mm. right? I said, it's going to be very difficult to dispute that charge, Fact. right? And motherfuckers are like, no, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. Like, literally over 50 people just coming on, like. Coming like, at your neck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, bro, like, if motherfuckers, is difficult to even get a refund. On oh, some for, shit that never arrived. You think they're going to. Dispute that, and they got fucking video evidence of you buying it. Exactly, and then you you can see, like you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know for that situation, no. Maybe for others, yeah. But for that particular video, that particular situation, you won't you won't be able to get away because like, oh yeah, he can still get the hoodie for free and dispute it. I'm like, yeah, that's probably that's what they think, and then also is because like, like you said, there's video evidence. Like they tell you the price before you buy it, so if you still go ahead and swipe, that kid is that's kind of on you now. It so is on. the the thing is like, I don't know how the dispute goes for higher purchases, mm. but I know for like us, we have fucking problems, and they're only what like under five hundred. Yep. So who knows? Good luck to him, but he might be able to get it, but it's gonna be a fucking process, bro. A whole fucking process. The whole process is so stupid because you got to sign, like, a waiver mm-hmm. and, and an agreement saying that you're telling the truth, mm-hmm. all that shit. And from there, you got to go to your credit card company, to the company that you purchased from, and you got and you got to be the middleman for both parties. Facts. It's so stupid. Like, think of it like this. You're a business. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't you converse with the other business? Exactly. But Why no. do I have to be the legwork for you for something I purchased? Mm, that's just like the fucking... Um, I had bought a hoodie 
from uh, the MLB store. Nice little Phillies hoodie. Fucking laser ships it out. Who's laser? Some like third party, whatever delivery service. Mm-hmm. I had it delivered to my job. These motherfuckers put that my job was closed at like one o'clock. Mm. I'm like, I'm there. I already filed like a claim on it. I called the company. I was like, hey, your driver said that my company was closed, but we're here till five o'clock. So why is it haven't been delivered? They was like, we don't know. It just says that the company was closed, provide the hours. Cool. Gave the hours. I was like, cool. Can I deliver it somewhere else? They was like, yeah, but you have to call MLB to see if they could approve the address change. Okay. So I called both of them. Okay. They're like, MLB like, well, we can't do nothing about it because it's already shipped out. But Laser's telling me they could approve the the address change. So I'm like. The whole time you guys could have done it. Yeah. When I was on the phone with you prior. Pretty much. And I was like, why the fuck y'all made me go through all this bullshit when y'all could have done it in the first place? Cool. But more like Bron. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my fucking PC. Kobe. No, nah, but like, it doesn't make sense because. It's like unnecessary bullshit they mm-hmm. put us through. You know what I mean? It's so unnecessary. Super unnecessary. Man, you saw all those videos that uh, Fat Joe been giving out shoes? Fucking, to? hey, Joey Crack. You might not listen to us, but I love you. <laughs> I need a fucking pair, bro. We wear the same size. I'll sell, I'll, I'll buy them. I'll buy them off him for retail. For retail. Not resell. Retail. You know, a lot of people are already, it's starting to float up around now. Is it? Mm-hmm. That 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 teal blue, the light little mm-hmm. uh, uh like Easter blue looking. But the, did he drop like out to the public or not? I don't know. That's the thing. I have yet to see anything yet. Like this release is very weird because it was supposed to be earlier. Earlier, nothing happened. Nothing happened. And that's all crickets. And now, oh, but sneakers he's, app I, did a, a a new a New York drop. <clears throat> that's why I remember the sneaker yeah, pass. I saw that, but. I don't know, cause he's out giving it, so that means the drop might be coming soon. Mm-hmm. But like, if I see a pair on StockX that's selling, that means one of the celebrities was like, yeah. Well, they're that. going for like three to four right now. Last time I saw, mm. and some people are just flexing it. They're not even showing how much they they're selling it for. Right. <laughs> Sorry, they're only um showing it off. Just like, oh look, look what I got. Look what I got. You know what I mean? He gave a couple pairs of Ice Cube. Yeah, I saw that one. Um, there was the other, who else? Mano, mm-hmm. Fab. I just, man. I, I know I know he gave some to Khaled. I know he gave some to Major. Major, of course. He has Cube. Um, Cube? Cube. Oh, Cube. Ice Cube, yeah. Um, I know he gave a few. I know he did. Man, that's a shoe I definitely need to buy this year. That and Jaritos. Big facts. I'm trying to get a pair of jaritos. I'm willing to pay that price. I'm, I'm starting to like crack. You know what I've been doing lately? Oh, I placed a bid on StockX for uh, double nickel tens. Uh huh. Last I was at 150. Okay. I put 155. Uh huh. I guess how you've been telling me they've been sniping the uh-huh. seller. It went from like 155. Somebody placed a bid for like 300. Yeah. See, that's sniping, bro. So you know what I did? What? I went from 155 to 150. <laughs> and the bull came down to 180. Now he shot back up at three hundred. That's what I'm saying. So every time they go back up to three hundred, I take another way five bucks. So now I like one forty five for the sneakers. Bro, I'm telling you, that's they did like these resellers act like we don't know, mm-hmm. bro. Like you have to see for like when you get how we say this. Like it's like if you're always overthinking, right? Mm-hmm. You you see scenarios, you think of perspectives, you mm-hmm. see it all. You know, what I mean, well, I assume I see it all, but you go know saying. Because my thing was like, okay, I placed a bid for 150 uh-huh. If somebody outbid me for 300 why you won't you just sell it on the spot if last sell was 150 mm-hmm. But now nah, it keeps on going 300 180 300 180 So every time it goes up and down, I bring a dollar off. Bro, it, these resellers don't make no sense. Like the Meek Mill situation. That motherfucker, bro. Yo, and I will admit Meek Mill is my one of my favorite rappers. Facts. But this man is fucking retarded. This motherfucker finesse, bro. He's talking about, oh, you get a free commercial. Like, bro, you ain't do shit for me, bro. But you want this sneaker for 300 but Talking about I could go to any store and get it. But you this. know he's very sensitive, right? I know he is, bro. You're a little bitch. Like, he, 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 uh, he went off 
online because mm-hmm. it really bothered because everybody was like coming at his neck about it, bro. Because it's true, like okay, you don't know, like for a guy for a dude that claims he knows business, you he don't know business. He doesn't, bro. That's why he don't have his own label. <laughs> He doesn't have like he he doesn't know business, bro. Cause you saying you could find these at any store for three hundred retail. Where the fuck you gonna go in the U.S. where they'll have them for retail, bro? That's what I'm saying. He doesn't know. He was talking on his ass. Yeah, he was talking. On his he ass, was using bro. his name as as clout. And the boy like caved in. I would have been like, no, no, no. bro. The 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 uh the Nike SB fours. Mm-hmm. No, he didn't. The dunk dude did. So the dunk dude was giving him dunks for a hundred dollars a pop. Ah uh, no, nah, fuck that. That there was two videos. You saw the I saw I saw the SB4. SB4 ball. Okay, so you didn't see the other one. I didn't see the other one. The only other one I saw is when him is walking out the Oh, with the money in his head? Uh yeah, with him like his security with yeah. all the trash bags. I saw that one and another one when he talking to the bull, asking him like what's your favorite like sneaker? He was like the Barkley yeah. and all that bullshit. So I was like I was like, bruh, how Okay, we understand Meek Mill is just whatever now, mm-hmm. right? But with the reseller, it's like, how do you think that promotes you? You didn't get tagged to anything. Facts. Nobody like, got tagged to anything besides Meek. And for like me personally, if I was the reseller, like I would have came at Meek's neck. Like you talk about oh hustle, hustle. How you gonna knock down my hustle because you want a fucking discount? But yeah, you rolling, you dropping money on like whatever. On oh, um, broads that. That's what I'm saying. I could, I could have been like, suck your dick. I could have been like, bro, you dropping probably like twenty grand in a fucking strickler for a bitch to shake the ass, but you can't support me on for extra two hundred for five hundred just to yeah. make my shit cool. <laughs> like I would have came at Meek's neck, but I don't know, bro. Just because people think they're celebrities. To me, I met a few celebrities, right? I didn't give a fuck. Like who? Uh, I told you I met Jake Elliott uh-huh. at City Fitness. Uh, the wrestling boy I showed you. What's his name? God damn it! I don't know his fucking name, bro. Braun Strowman, bitch. Whatever. I don't look. I don't look. I don't look at these new wrestlers. Oh, uh, talking about that. R.I.P. to Bray Wyatt. Yeah, R.I.P. I saw that. Um, he has the whole world. I saw uh, Jadena. Jadena. Oh yeah, the boy that sings classic man. Yeah. Uh, I told you I saw PNB Rock once. I saw Meek on the street, and uh, who else? I think that's about it. Bobby. I remember, um, remember when uh, back then when him and uh, Rutimi was doing a skit, mm-hmm. Mr. Classic Man, Mr. Mr. Classic Chocolate Man, man. Yeah. Butterscotch, <laughs> Mr. Butterscotch. Oh, I love, I love that little, little like, fo- like it's like fun beef. It was yeah, like, just fun, fun beef, at yeah. but it was dope. My homie, uh, shout out to my homie uh, Eric. He he did a face mask one time, mm-hmm. and he. Uh, he actually started talking like Mr. Butterscotch. Oh, <laughs> you know how like he did he had cause he had, he yeah, did a video too, yeah, yeah. With, with the face uh face mask. I was like I was like, Oh, you do face masks? He was like, Yeah. yeah. Oh. This man a thug. I'm like, Oh, oh shit. I'm like, all right, skincare, skincare, skincare for all for facts. all types. I ain't judging. I ain't Big judging. Facts. Then again, I used to do my eyebrows, so you and my little brother, y'all. So I use I used to do it in high school. Fucking Fruit Loops. <laughs> Call me a Fruit Loop all you want. Skittles. Guess what? Hey, taste my rainbow, bitch. Breon lovers. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, so fun fact. So you know, uh, Brooklyn Project, right? Yeah. It, not fun fact, but what happened? What obviously, happened? Yeah. Uh, Brooklyn Project was flooded. Yeah. So their uh, Nike SB, uh, you two, they threw them away. Uh, but here's the don't they have to return? Can they can't they return it? Uh this is from what I know as a consumer, uh-huh. like a customer from Nike. I know if the sneaker is damaged, you have like what, like ninety days to return it. Uh huh. But like, my thing is now, like, where does this play in effect? Like it got ruined by like a natural yeah like, natural disaster. weather yeah like yeah you might throw them out but like do you have insurance on it do you I gotta say it I don't know I don't know if they could return it I mean they Cause, should cause it's like it's wholesale basically now like final sale or something I don't know true. I just, like, took, they, I just they, took off my shirt, y'all. I just had to blow my nose. There's no tissue in this room. This little dirty whore. Well, I'm not wearing this shirt anyway. This is my, my night shirt. That's his cum shirt. Disgusting. 
Uh, no, nah, but like, <clears throat> I seen the shoe in person, right? Shout yeah. out to uh, Common Ground, my, the homie Phil. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a pair of size ten, right? Mm-hmm. And I was looking at it. He he doesn't his per his personal opinion is not his favorite shoe. Facts. You know I mean? I felt but there's better. He said there's better yeah. out this year. Of course. And I'm like, oh, I love the color. It was like, but he's like, yeah, look, because the the material is different, and the tongue on SB is usually fat. Fat. Yeah. This is not fat. This is skinny. Yeah, it's skinny. It's a fufu. And then I was like, whoa! I, ne- I, didn- I-, I haven't seen it in person. So, yeah, I only saw pictures. But, you know um, what I mean? It's a dope shoe. It's, it's a, a dope, dope shoe. shoe. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I like would it. rock it, but like for you just to throw away hundreds of pairs, that's wild. Here's the thing: I, would, I, I, would I don't think he's throwing it away because he said we're just trashing them. He says, but is he really? I don't know. You, you know how much those are worth? Yeah. But still, I don't know, bro. I don't know how to... Okay, like I said, if that was your story and that shit got flooded and all that I'm shit. calling Nike and say, yo, what's the insurance policy on this bitch? True. I'm getting my money back. True. I don't know. I'm not wasting money like that. I would low-key dumpster dive and fucking find a size 12. And you bring trying to drive the Cali? Let's go. It's water damage. It's, so that's what? what I'm saying. It's not that bad. You it's let it air bad. drop. Yeah. And you give them a little discount. 10%, 15%, even nah, 20%. Nah, with that, I, I would <laughs> have to go between 35. Retail, bro. 35, bro. But it's retail. Yeah, but it's weather damage. It might be stinking now. Now, nah, if you air it, oh, mildew. If you mildew, keep it. That's what I'm saying. If you keep it in a. Box human. damage, you probably won't have the box anymore, <laughs> so. At least you gotta knock off thirty five percent of it. Look, bro. motherfucker, stores in uh in Hawaii are fucking doing kickflips and shit for the shoes. Oh, I know, bro. That shit was crazy out there. You think it's uh you? How you feel about that? Like you know, like uh, there's stores in Cali yeah. that tells people uh, there's a particular store. I forgot the name. They I don't know if they still do it now, but at the time they made people walk out with their shoes on. Motherfuckers are penguining. Uh, Motherfuckers nah. actually walking. I remember we kind of <clears throat> talked about that before a while back on the pod. Um, once I purchase it, it's mine now. It's no longer yours. So I don't give a fuck about your store policy. I don't give a fuck about whatever. Uh, I purchased this. Technically, I legally own it. So I can do whatever the fuck I want with yeah. it. So even though if I purchase it, you tell me, oh, you got to go straight to tell No, you can go fuck yourself, bro. Because I own it now. Yeah. So you, you can't tell me what to do with something that I See, own. like me being just like level-minded currently, mm-hmm. I would say 50-50, right? Mm-hmm. But if I'm like getting pushed to do it, then, yo, we're going to have a problem. Like you know, like the same concept right. that you're talking about. It's, bitch, I just pay for this shit. Suck my dick. Take That's the what next I'm customer. saying. Because like. Yeah, you can have all these rules, but like that's because you own that shoe now. Oh. But now I own it, so you can't tell me what the fuck to do with my shoe. You know what I'm saying? That's like you, I don't know. Like, let's say I own a store, you come and get your holy grails. But like, let's say they're crumbling. I'm like, yeah, you can't walk out with them and you have to throw them on your feet, but you know they're crumbling. Yeah. You're going to be like, bro, I just. Bitch is a trophy shoe. It's a trophy Suck my dick. Yeah. I don't know. These these rules nowadays are just kind of. I wish I would go up into a retail store. I purchase it and be like, yo, you, you have to. You walk know out why? With it. You know why? why? It, it, well, that store is in Cali, right? Mm-hmm. You know why? I feel like why? All right. So the area they're at, right? People in Cali are very passive. Mm-hmm. They very nice. Mm-hmm. Like there's only a few where like just dickheads, mm-hmm. but majority are very nice and 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 facts. quiet individuals. That's facts. So being told what the rules are. Some will comply. Mm-hmm. Over here, we're we're polite, but, but we're mean. <laughs> like, like to me right now, I was like, for example, if I compliment you, like, yo, dickhead, you look good. Hey, dumbass, looking nice. Facts. Over there, they'll be like, yo, bro, looking good today. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> nicer. We we're. We're complimenting you, but like we're aggressive, we're kind of like a little aggressive. Too. A little aggressive, bitch. You are aggressive. Like, damn, dickhead, nice sneakers. I was like, yo, my man, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? All right, fuckface. Whoa, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> like, it's complimenting, but like somebody else here is talking. They're like, yo, why the fuck y'all so mean to one another? I'm like, yeah. nah, that's how we are. We're not sensitive. We're not bitches. But nah, it's it's like it's so weird. Uh, but 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I wouldn't comply to those rules. Yeah, I wouldn't comply to those rules. If you do, if you want me to comply, cool. Buy your sneaker bag. Now I'm going to sell it to you for resale price on the spot. Bro, they, these like these stores really think they like control a lot of things. Nah. But I feel, think of it like this. When you're in your own bubble and you, and you start getting a little too cocky, mm-hmm. shit like that can and will happen. And it will. You know what I mean? But- Nonetheless, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. So enjoy the interlude music, bitches. Bitches. You allergies having bitch. Yo, my allergies be crazy. I think it's the weather keeps changing. It went from like 70 to 80 and then like 75 to 89. Facts. Bro, my nose is like stuffy right now. Man, I don't know that lifestyle. No, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, how you feel about this Foot Locker situation? Fuck them. Fuck all of them. Foot For Locker, s- Finish Line. Consumer Soft. No, no, no. Champs. I'm cool with other stores. Uh, I'm cool with all stores. We're just going to talk about like why are they <sighs> calling it Consumer softness, dude. They're they're blaming they're blaming us, us for their, for their sales. Yeah. All right, I brought it up on the videos, right? Mm-hmm. You saw. It. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up on this pod. You're upset because consumers aren't buying or purchasing how they used to. Mm-hmm. All right, but here's the thing: for two reasons, most of your stores are backdooring a, a lot, lot of your shoes. Okay, Big facts. one, and then two. When people try to do raffles, mainly everything is through the app. app mm-hmm. But what happens? Majority are taken by bots. Bots, facts. And also, they're fucking weird because I was supposed to get Thunder Force. Remember? Uh, what dropped? Yeah, I remember you were supposed to get Thunder Force, and they 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 didn't send you a notification for that. No, which is weird. Uh, I was in New not York. even an email. I was in New York. Uh-huh. I think I think the taxis <laughs> dropped. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. I can't remember which sneaker it was, but I'm, I'm guessing it's the twelves. It was one o'clock already. Me and my brother was like, "Yo, let's just go check see if they have it." They had they had them, but it was like, "Oh, it was only a raffle pickup." I'm like, "You only give them till twelve o'clock, bro. It's one o'clock. Why can't I buy a pair from uh-huh. the square?" What they say? They were like, "Ah, oh, now we can't. We have to wait till everybody." So what time is the time limit now? Isn't it till twelve? Yes. Yeah. So unless they changed it, it's like the whole unless, day now. Unless the whole story is one. Because when stores. they first started with the yeah, like in person raffles, you only have to a certain time. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. The yeah. latest would be one with certain stores like uh, uh, you big at the time. They, yeah. They uh, were, one point they did one, but then they stopped. I think they went to twelve. I'm pretty sure Villa did twelve as well. I'm pretty sure all stores still do twelve because Lapstone does the twelve. <laughs> uh huh. And like I said, me and my brother was in New York, and we both wanted a pair, and we told the boy, I was like, yo, can I get a size 12 and a 10 for him? They was like, y'all raffle winners? I'm like, nah. They're like, well, we're only doing raffle winners right now. I'm like, it's 1 o'clock, bro. Fuck you mean raffle winners? They're um, like, well, we only signed it to the raffle winners. I'm like, bro, it's 1 o'clock. You have to sell it fair and square, whether they're here or not. But Bro, that's the thing. Like, like these workers, they, they, they get too gung-ho. Yeah. And they start acting a little too cocky. I'm like, all right, bro, you know what? I'm not here to try to get arrested over facts a fight. Facts over facts, bro. But and then, you're a dickhead. Also, Foot Locker, their employees are low-key fucking trash at customer service. Oh. Super trash. You want, you want, okay. This is really some fucked up shit, right? It's like every Foot Locker I've been to, it's always a weird encounter. So mm-hmm. it's like they try is either they try too hard or they try they don't try at all. The only one that's good at customer service is always someone on the register. Facts. Because I went to Cherry Hill last week. Uh, I bought some Philly shirts that I saw at Felt. Oh, Fel- you finally the one that I bought them. Uh, both of them. Fucking expensive what, shit. They weren't on sale? No. Oh. Um, what was it? I bought them and like, nobody helped me, nobody, you know, whatever. But other days that I go, they're, like, pushy. You yeah. need something, you need something. And I get it. They probably work off commission. But, like, it was just weird. Like, nobody says hi to you. No way, like, hey, can I help you with something? Yeah. I, like, it's, I was like, whatever. I went to the register, and they're like, who helped you? I'm like, myself. 
And they're like, all right, cool. But like you said, only the people that are nice had to register. Because I remember that same Cherry Hill, they had pandas oh, yeah, in yeah, stock. Yeah. And uh, I asked to try like 11 and a half to see if it, like my uh. foot would like squeeze in there. And my little brother heard like, oh, look at these fucking resellers trying to buy some pandas. And I was like, bitch, I want to try the sneaker. I don't give a fuck about a resale on the pan. I don't care about no extra ten bucks on the. See, that's the thing. Like these motherfuckers, they don't understand. Like, like the thing is, I will like air it. them out so fast if this. Like I used to be a reseller, right. right? And the thing is, like nowadays, you can say what the fuck you want. I get it, right? But then you have to remember, you will get checked by somebody. That's the thing, bro. Like me personally, I don't want to say shit because, like, one, it was like an older. Lady, uh, like, why the fuck would I even tell you? Uh, like, who cares? And two is like, bitch, you here to work? Like, who gives a fuck about a resell? I'm not reselling it back to you. What does it matter if if I'm buying? Probably because like she she's on that wave. So like the wave of, you know, like in the sneaker game, mm-hmm. right? The wave of hating resellers. Yeah. And the wave is so strong. The way the wave even got stronger. If anything. Yeah, it got. Definitely stronger, but like me personally, like if I worked at Foot Locker and you tell me like, yo, how many pairs of whatever you got? Uh, like, yeah, I got like 20. Cool. Give me the 20. To me, that's going to look, if I'm working by commission. Had, but here's the thing. You had the shoe. Mm-hmm. You're trying on the shoe. That's what I'm saying. Why would a reseller try on a sh- fucking shoe? That's what I'm saying. And in my head, I'm like, she don't know what the fuck she's talking about. She don't. So I, I, like I said, I let it go. My brother laughed and <laughs> my little brother was, he said, he's smart. He's a smart ass. Oh yeah. My little brother was like. You really, my brother said something about like you really care. We care about a ten dollar, a ten dollar profit on a sneaker, and I fucking laughed and I gave it back to him. I was like, I'm cool, bro. I don't want these. And the lady had like a smirk ass face because my little brother said that comment. Because I'm like, bro, pandas are not going for much, bro. They're not. Like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with an extra ten dollars off a panda? Toll. That's true. <laughs> Toes Toll. is five, Toll. but the easy pass is like two something. Not all. Not all of them. Some. Not all only of them. not all of them. I thought it was always Kobe. I thought all of it would be uh like when you get a discount the easy pass. I thought yeah. it was every toll. It's nah, not it's certain ones. Certain ones. Certain which ones. Is stupid. I find yeah. it so stupid. Uh, moving forward, moving forward. So you saw what the Nike uh the Nike Air Forces, the the white on whites uh, Utopias. Fucking disgusting. So I talked about it on my on one of my videos too. My boy, shout out to Phil from Common Ground. Shout out to Phil. <laughs> um he brought up a, a valid point. So you know the Air Force Travis Scott sales; uh-huh. those are one fifty, and material on there is great. But then these are one fifty, and it's just white on whites with lasers. With lasers on it. Like, like, why is Nike being so lazy, bro? They're running out of fucking ideas. Bro. I feel exactly. I feel like, like they are. think about it. All they stitch it. You couldn't even stitch it. Something, bro. Change the color. Change the, the. No, if they just stitched it, I think it'll be okay. But they didn't stitch it. It's lasered on. They lasered it on. Nah, bro. I don't know. These bitches are... Nah. I don't know. They're, they're getting fucking lazy. Because, bro, all the, like, the retros, Jordans that are coming out, they're just doing, like, whatever. Like, weird-ass color schemes. They're, like, not giving a fuck. I don't know. I think somebody... They need to hire somebody different than Nike for the, like, production colorways or uh, design Well, I mean, like, something. they're... they're there, there's times where, of course, not everything's gonna be a, a bang, right? And well, lately, it. lately, a lot of shit hasn't been bangers, bro. Like what? We like what? Like, what? To me, it. like Red Thunders are trash. The Resident Fours that's coming out are trash. Yeah, but the, you know, like you have to realize one thing: it's it's what's their majority of? How do I say this? All right, we they were us when, the, for example, the Toro Fours came out. True. Or the, like, the Toro Fours hit, though. For us, it hit. I don't so, know. I some of the kids really. don't even think it's, it's dope, bro. Mm. And then now, like, I, I'm, we're what our old heads were now. You know what I'm saying? Fair. fair. So I like, that's why like, I see it, and I'm like, all right, cool. It's for the kids. It's for the younger demographics. Yeah. And I understand, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to still talk my shit. They, I, felt they, like- I will say they are ugly as fuck. Right? Yeah. Thunder Force, ugly as fuck. Fact. Cement, red Cement Force, Force ugly, trash, ugly as fuck. But guess what? Motherfucker love it. And if I was a reseller and they go for like 350 to 4 Yeah, I would resell I, I, it. I would resell it. But like, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. To me, it's just like... 
is with this is just a lazy drop because I I forgot right when they did the Rockefeller Air Force mm-hmm. it was, at least it was stitched yeah and I brought up to Phil and Phil was like yeah but those were stitched I was like oh shit you're right yeah I, I don't I didn't remember so I was like all right cool now and that's when he brought up the sale the tra- the Travis Scott sales mm-hmm. and I was like look look at this it's one fifty retail this is one fifty retail but this has the corduroy or not corduroy that uh that thick mesh material and all that Facts. shit nice little t- uh uh silver swoosh to it metallic swoosh, swoosh and like yeah. it's just a sturdier shoe for 150 Facts. when this is literally just a regular white on white that goes for 90 bucks With or 110 laser, or whatever bullshit, yeah. and you're paying extra 40 bucks for a laser my question is what's the resell on these uh 300 right now really last time i saw around 300 mm. I might buy it to resell it. Would you? Just but, to resell it. But you know who's me? buying it, though? Blanquitos? No, but then, no, hear me out. A shoe like this, it's like, it's a hit or miss. Yeah, the price is there. Yeah. But how long is it going to sit? It's going to sit. Yeah, that's fine. That's why, like, you want a quick turnover. Because mm-hmm. the, quicker, the quicker you turn over, the faster you get to get your money back. And guess what? You have your profit. Facts. Yeah, you can push it to something else. That's what um that's what I did with all the hype drops that I won. The Phantoms, quick flip. Uh the Tiffany Dunk. I mean the Tiffany Forces, quick flip. Oh, I wanted those. What was another one that I think that was it? Besides the Lost and Founds, I kept those. Those are nice shit. Those man. bitches are beautiful. I just hate that it fucking bleeds when you clean them. Yeah. But still nice shoe. I haven't worn them since the sneaker convention. Really? Yeah. No, that's a lie. I took him to LA. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, before we get into any uh, sneaker releases, right? Today, somebody commented asking me about uh, some merch, saying having a shirt saying "Let's get into it." <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be dope. dope. It yeah, would be get, dope. let's get into it. Yeah. But then, like I show, I did the video you saw. Yeah, yeah. And, like I showed him the hoodies that uh that yeah, you we did. got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, uh, you know, a couple of the other homies bought uh bought some shirts off me and whatnot. I was like, maybe I should. Yeah. But then I gotta do like I gotta do like a ten count for each. Yeah. I'm not like it's, it's like it's it's hard because like how you said like one you want like good good shit to sell. Like, man, who's gonna buy? <laughs> who's gonna buy? Who the fuck is gonna buy, buy my the- shit? Fuck it, bro. We'll sell it out somewhere. We'll go around. We'll sell them how they used to sell CDs, bro. We go right on Market Street and we'll sell some T-shirts. Man, <laughs> uh, maybe, 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 maybe. We'll see. We'll see. So Kobe Bryant, Kobe, uh, Crazy Adidas, eights. Crazy Eights, dropping in fall. Mm-hmm. What you think about these? I fucking always loved the. There's crazy like a eights. I like there's the like yellow colorway. Oh, I say yellow, the orange. And orange. There's a black and white, mm-hmm. and then there's an all white and gray. I get the black and white. Black and white, yes, sir. Um, I would go the same route as you. It's a dope colorway, dope shoe, dope shoe. Yeah, the orange ones. I wouldn't wear them. It would be like a trophy shoe. Uh, I'll wear them, but there's a lot of shit I might have to like just keep it super simple with. Man, talking about Kobe's that 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 drop on the twenty fourth. Oh my, bro! No, I took. Four L's because the Halo, uh-huh. I lost. Uh, and, then, and then we lost on the fucking Kobe day. Damn right. Fuck, bro. That shit broke my heart. I was talking to Phil again. So, and then he was like, because that same day on Thursday, I stopped by the shop yeah. and talked to him. And uh, he he said he has a pair. He oh, liked uh, the, the Halos, uh-huh. but it's in our size. Um, like me and him. Yeah, yeah, me yeah. and him wear the same size. God damn it. <laughs> That's why as I look- tall as he is, he wears your size, bro. God yeah. damn. Let me say this: if if I was if I had the funds and bro, facts, I would legit just go to him and just buy my shit. Facts, but um, bro, he he doesn't have. He lost on the uh, on the uh, Grinches and stuff as well. Mm. Why they call him Green Apple? I don't know. I saw that shit. They called him Green Apple. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, but we lost. I lost he, on the Mamacitas. Yeah, he actually said he doesn't like the uh, the Hall of Fame, the one I got. I love the fucking Hall of Fame. I love the Hall of Fame. Too. I fucking love them right now. The I reason why I, the reason why I like them is because like it's the purple and gold. It's yeah, just purple, purple and gold. gold, and it's dope. 
and it matches with it's, my and it's undefeated. I love and that's what I'm saying. It is undefeated too. I love undefeated. I might just have to buy a Kobe jersey instead. An eight or twenty four? Both. I just want eight. I don't want I don't care for the 24. I want eight, but I want I think I wanted I think I want a jersey this time in purple. Mm. In purple. Okay, okay. I probably will get the eight first and then move on to the twenty four. Okay. Uh moving forward, Jordan one low uh double gum is a PE for uh Aaron Judge. You watch baseball, right? So who's Aaron Judge? I just want to ask you like a baseball player. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I heard the name, but I don't know who the uh, fuck he plays for. I, th- I thought you might know. Nah. So, like, the shoe is dope. I just know he's a baseball player. Um, it's a nice shoe. It's, it's it's something I would wear. It's pink. I like pink. It's bubblegum. You know what I mean? And it's like... Bubblicious. That, is, it, is it bubblicious or bubblegum? Uh, bubblegum. Uh, bubblegum, right? I think bubble. Yeah, bubblicious is something else. That, bubblegum, yeah, yeah. That's the name. Yeah. That fucking gum is trash, but... Is it? Hell yeah, bro. It loses fu- flavors within like two seconds. Bro, it's a quarter gum. What do you expect? Something better. They chew in the MLB. It's a quarter gum. They chew it in the MOB, so I expect something better. They probably have a shitload. Door- yeah, true. You but know what I mean? I will, I will rock them. <laughs> bro, these are nice. They're I kinky. like kinky. Yeah, because. I like the bucket. The, really? I, everything you like I, the fucking bucket that comes think with? Think about it. If the sneaker came in with the bucket with some gum. You will, right. that will love it. You will love it. My fat ass with you all going by then. Facts. <laughs> uh, moving forward. So military, uh, the Jordan 4 Military Blues, May 2024 for 215 Damn, they're going up in price. They were 210 They added an, an extra five. Maybe quality a little bit better. It I don't better know. be a little bit fucking better for that. I, okay. What's your top limit on paying for retail now? Since hey, price is going up. What's, what's going to be your top dollar to pay retail? Uh... Two twenty five. That's your max. Yeah. When it comes to Jordans, like I'm not. Honestly, I'll take that back. Probably three hundred. Because so, like, because like, I paid five hundred for the pack, the gift of flight. Yeah. Or is it four ninety or that's, whatever? That's a pack. Five ten. It's two shoes. Yeah, but I'm saying that's a pack. But it's still five. I wouldn't mind paying five for a two pack. Versus. Two fifteen for one. I don't know. So that's the thing. Like I'm willing to pay like around two. The highest I paid retail was the, the Tiffany's. Tiffany's for four. Yeah. I think I think my limit would be two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. I think for me it would be like around three. Yeah, nah, two fifty. Three three flat. The highest two fifty. That's just still expensive. Man. Still expensive, bro. It's like they. I, I think if they start getting to that price point, I think I might just have to retire. If they do, then yeah, most I'll have everything on sale. Yeah, I would have to retire and go back to wearing fucking uh, felines. <laughs> I never wore a pair. Of, no, I haven't. Uh, no. Me neither. I wore a pair of K Swiss, Chucks, uh, New Balances. I just got some Reeboks. I did too. I wore mine on Thursday again. I saw. I went to the outlet. Uh they're fucking ninety. And I was so fucking pissed off. I got mine for 30. So fucking pissed off, bro. Be mad. Be mad. I always find the good steals. I don't care. I, I don't care. I'll wait a whole year if I have I to. hit on sneakers. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, why don't you spend the extra two, 300 I don't give a fuck. What? I hit. And it's stolen. Show me your list. Huh? Show me your winning list. I don't need to show you my winning <laughs> list. My collection is my winning <laughs> list. Asshole. <laughs> Last but not least, Air Max 1 Familia. 2023, sometimes in November for De, Dia yeah. de los Moretos. Say it right, bitch. I'm going to have the pimp slap you. We said this last year, right? Yeah. Okay. You better say it right. I'm going to pimp slap you. Da, de, de, de los. He said de, de. De, de. Dia. Oh, uh, Dia de los Moretos. Muertos. Muertos. You were close. I'm going to pimp slap you later. Yo, did you see that video? Um, it was a kid in school. I guess he was acting up. I'm guessing they're, they're some type of family members. Uh, the kid grandma like slapped him. The grandpa was like, and the comments was like, you could tell Pops was a pimp back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, man. You can't be doing that in public, dog. Yes, you can. Motherf- yo, motherfuckers are well, quick to fucking call. But call. yeah, but like to me, that's fine, bro. If you're disciplining somebody. is it? There's levels to it. You don't. 
beat them. You you yeah he he, he, he them. didn't go wow he went back pat, like pat pat, pat and bam like a pat pat and he was like what the fuck is wrong with you uh-huh. like, that's cool I'm okay with that but if you like throwing hands on you yeah, I'm you like okay yeah, okay yo relax chill. bro like y'all ain't Mexican chill <laughs> no nah, like that kid is five years old man you don't that's the thing I realized right like. That's where, I, as I got older, right? Like, I'm still growing. I'm still learning as right. a father. It's like, my parents, for example, if I drop something, mm-hmm. I'm getting two-pieced. Uh, depending on what it is. No, no. Like, it could be a plastic cup, and oh, I get two-pieced. Damn. I fucking oversleep. I get two-pieced. Like, it, there, was every, there was always a solution to it. You know what I mean? Facts. Like, uh, a violent solution. But yeah, the Muertos, Air Max, what mm-hmm. you think about those? Not for me. <laughs> really? And I feel like they might be a woman's drop, bro. I like them. Well, you could fucking fit it. I, I like them. Because what... Uh, oh, yeah, the Jordan 2s I told you about, the the blue. Uh-huh. They were a woman's release. <laughs> uh, the one release that's coming up next month <laughs> that I have to get, Playoff 8s. Oh, they're, yeah, it's coming out next Yeah, month. they come, literally the end of next month. Are you going to try again for sure? Uh, I'm gonna see if they got them at the store that we go to. You you say it all the time. True. Fuck it. Lapstone. I'm gonna go to Lapstone see if they have it. I mean, like, if you can't get them for retail, you gonna pay resale? I feel like they might go a little bit above retail. Mm. I don't think they're gonna be. I say like two fifty, two eighty, something like that. I don't Mm -hmm. think it's gonna be a crazy, crazy like price on them. Uh huh. But like. If they, I'm not paying no more than two fifty if it's resale. Okay, but I'm a tr- I hope they have it at retail. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we'll fair see. enough. All right, y'all. Um, what else is there to cover today? That's about it. That's about it, man. It's been fifty five episodes. Fifty five. Fifty fifth street. <laughs> man, let me tell you this, right? So, oh, remember that taco spot? Before we end this podcast, what time is that? One in uh, New Jersey, AOX. Oh, yeah, yeah, the so one that you went to. I found out they used to sell out their garage, bro. Word? Yeah. That's how most of them start, bro. They started out of a garage and then uh, now they. Oh, let me look at them. So I, could, I could put this on uh, on the pod so everyone can find it. What was it called? Put AOX. AOX. Tacos. Tacos. Fifty fifth. So it's called A O X Restaurant, right on Fourth North White Horse Pike, Linwood, that New Jersey. Like a racist area to me. No, no? this is a full Hispanic area. Oh shit! I see a lot of Hispanic stores around there. They're um, workers, huh? They're workers. Stop, <laughs> you fucking asshole! Stir the pot. Nah, but this place is really good. What I got was the, the Korean Al Pastor tacos. Yeah. And the street fries. Fucking fuego, bro. Let's see. Let's see. Fuego. Beat that shit brownie. was nice. So, okay. All right. I'm not trying to destroy anyone's hustle. I didn't try that, but I know how they do that. Birria ramen. Right. So, I don't want to try it because I can make that at home. AX Tacos, choice of birria chicken or beef with marinated shrimp. Cheese, onion, the ceviche, uh, ceviche. Ceviche was pretty good, too. Korean al pastor. Carnitas. That's the one I got, the Korean al pastor. Damn. It was yeah. fire, bro. The price is not bad. It's, it's 12 bucks. Yeah, that's what we pay in South Yeah, Philly. so it's like not that bad. They got thrust leches cake? Ooh. I didn't try the, the dessert. I, I might have to. But the food there was fire, bro. There's also a little taco spot right here near Ryan's house, too. Is there? Yeah. I actually need to find a new taco spot, bro. Because fucking Prima is this. Well, it's starting to go bad? A I haven't bit, been there in a bro, while. And last time we went to order in, um, they told us like an hour wait. Why? I don't know. And it wasn't that packed. I guess they had like phone orders coming uh-huh. in. But he they was like, yeah, it's going to take like an hour wait. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm, I'm out. And there's... The taco truck that's right there on 10th in uh-huh. Washington that's in front of the Sunoco gas station across uh-huh. the parking lot. Uh-huh. Their tacos are good and a little bit cheaper, but the problem is they don't get enough protein. Like, you know how, like, Primas, they stack your fucking taco? Yeah. These guys, they stack it like if they work at Chipotle. Ah, uh, so all it, um, yeah, qu- like, uh, quantity. Yeah, quantity. And I kind of, like, don't like that. Like yeah, the tacos are a little bit cheaper, but like, bro, I want like uh, how much? How much is the tacos? I haven't had it in a while. Uh, Primas is 
12 or 13. No, I think they went up to 15 now. Really? Yeah. Primus oh, is, suck my dick. Yeah. I haven't been in a while, but last time it was pretty pricey. So I think Primus is probably now 15 in order. The taco truck, I want to say at least about like eight or nine. Oh, that's yeah, cheaper. That's cheaper. But again, like I said, the tacos are not packed. Yeah. And um, I know, you know, my favorite truck. I'm about to go there for the, the tortas or the yeah, quesadilla. Yeah, that fucking truck is trash. Wait, thing. You say it's trash, but every time I bring people there, they love it. They fucking, because they don't know food. <laughs> They're just like you and me. They don't know. They're food. yellow and tan. Some Mexicans don't know food, bro. And I and I fucking noticed that. Like your brother? Yeah, he's a fucking. It's like nah, fucking vegan bitch. His brother's not vegan. That's a sin. Fact. <laughs> if you're a Mexican and vegan, oh. I'm gonna disown you, bro. Would you? Fuck if yeah. I was vegan, if I went vegan for a year, what would you do? I would not talk to you for that whole fucking year. You call me when you're ready <laughs> to have some real protein. But here's the thing, right? We need to go back to that, that spot that we go to. We went KOP? to KOP. Yeah, I'm going there tomorrow. Go there with your brother. Take him there. That's what I'm thinking. Actually, about. no, because he's gonna ruin it somehow, bro. Probably he a little. He gonna bitch. he gonna be picky about he it. He a little bitch. He pick. I really he's picky with certain things. Yeah, he's real picky with certain things. No, he'll eat it, but he always has to put his comment on yeah. it when it comes to food. I'm like, can, can yeah. you just enjoy? Shut up, bitch, and eat it. <laughs> can but you just enjoy fact. that shit? But facts though. But yeah, that's it for today, y'all. Um, y'all, I hope everyone have a nice day. Have a nice night. Uh, be safe out there. Please like, share, and subscribe to this podcast, to my YouTube, my IG, uh, my, TikTok. my TikTok, at Fresh Philly. 215. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. And we will see y'all next week. Adios. Deuces. Peace. Oh, I also forgot to... Uh, to Record this because I, I start making videos and shit for this. Oh, like yeah, clips and shit, that fucking TikTok bullshit, parental advice bullshit. I'm gonna we'll try next week. We'll I try next week, yeah.